Do you sometimes wonder what constellations and other objects are in the night sky? Well, just look up and we'll walk you through the December sky tonight. As we head into December, our days get shorter and our nights get longer. We finally begin to see our summer constellations setting in the west and our winter constellations rising in the east. We can still easily see Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn in the night sky. But Jupiter and Saturn will continue to creep closer towards each other. Then, on December 21st, we will get to observe the Great Conjunction. We'll explain more about how this happens later this month, but mark your calendars as these two planets won't be this close again until March of 2080. Starting in the southwest, we have our zodiac constellations, found along the same plane as the planets. Capricornus, the sea goat, moves closer to the western horizon, followed by Aquarius, the water bearer, and Pisces, the fish. Since we're here, we'll also say hello to Cetus, the sea monster, who is not a zodiac, but sits just below Pisces. Aries, the ram, floats just above the ecliptic line. And rising in the east is our newcomer, Taurus the bull. Taurus marks the start of the winter constellations in our night sky. It also features a giant orange-red star called Aldebaran. This massive star is 65 light years away from the sun and is believed to host a planet several times larger than Jupiter. Also located in the shoulder of the bull are the Pleiades, or the Seven Sisters, who we met last month. Connected to Taurus is the constellation of Auriga the Charioteer. This constellation features the bright star Capella, also known as the Goat Star. Another winter constellation is starting to peak over the horizon, the great hunter named Orion. Orion is host to several fascinating stars and a nebula that we'll take a better look at next month. And right off Orion's knee is the long, long constellation of Eridanus, the river. Eridanus is technically a southern hemisphere constellation, but we're able to see it at our low latitude. Moving to the north, we see our friends Perseus, Andromeda, Pegasus, Cepheus, and Cassiopeia. Ursa Major is completely set now, so we'll rely on Cassiopeia to show us the North Star Polaris and Ursa Minor. Draco the Dragon has chased Hercules below the horizon, and the season is finally setting on our summer triangle with our old friends Lyra, Cygnus, and Aquila. Mid-month, we'll be treated to another meteor shower that won't be obscured by the moon. In the late evening of December 13th into the dawn of December 14th, we will encounter the Geminid meteor shower. Look to the east for the constellation of Gemini the Twins and the bright star Castor. The meteors will appear to radiate from there. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Space Bites. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Videos like these are made with support from viewers like you. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, many museums, such as ourselves, are asking for support. So share our video with your friends, or if you're able, please click the link in the description box below to help support us during these unprecedented times. Join us again next time, and stay hungry!